welcome to Chop Chat Cook. I'm Joanne and today I'm here with Sherry and Jodie from So Cake Toowoomba. That's right, we're up in Toowoomba today. Today the title of the episode is called Jam Sandwiches. Uh, Sherry and Jodie uh, are in business together and they've been in business together for two years. And between them they've got 30 years experience in the cake decorating industry. Today we're also, Sherry's working on a chocolate cake and ganashing a chocolate cake which looks really amazing. So I'm just getting back to the jam sandwiches and I, I think like some of the things that we really wanted to talk about wasn't it was the importance of um, well you know trying to ensure that you, you, you don't have to live on jam sandwiches. Preparing for retirement. Yeah, preparing yeah. for retirement. Uh, again, that's, you know, it's complicated, isn't it? Yeah, especially and if you're running your own business. Yeah, you know, and superannuation is one of those key elements, isn't it? That's right, yeah, that's it. You've got to think about your future, you know, the whole way along. And I think it's not compulsory when you're a small business owner to put any way into your super. So you've got those extra expenses of having your own business too that you've got to outlay. So um, I'm sure there's some people out there that aren't putting contributions into their super that may get caught up in the end. Yeah. Mm. And even there's people who work for businesses and the businesses aren't paying them super. Yeah. 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 So, you know, like, um, so Scott Pape is, uh, I've been reading, you know, his book, uh, The Barefoot Investor. And that's one of the things that he says is that, you know, make sure you check your um, superannuation statements. Yeah. So, yep. you, you know, make sure that that your employer is actually putting in the super that they're supposed to be putting in. Um, bearing in mind, if you're a low income earner, then what you can do is you can top up your super, put in an extra, I think it's sort of around $1,000. And the government will actually top up your super. That's it. Yeah, yeah, which just sort of gives you that little bit more money, doesn't it? Yeah, you make the most of the good Incentive. times when yeah. you can put that extra away. It sort of yeah. helps cover for when you can't. And then even yeah. like it's quite easy, you can do an automatic deduction on a fortnightly basis and, uh, you know, have like $50 come out a week yep. or a fortnight, you know, depending how often you get paid. And you're just topping that up as well. And it's, that's the beauty of compounding interest. Yep. It's sort of interest on interest on interest. That's it, yeah. Uh, and then the other sort of uh, option as well is if your spouse is you know, earning enough money that you can um, put, that your spouse can contribute to your super. So there's uh, like up to $3,000 a year and then there's a, a rebate that you're eligible for. Those sorts of things you can do as well. And, and I think when you've got an automatic deduction happening, then you don't actually have to st stop and yeah. and think about yeah worry about it and yeah, yeah it just happens automatically and I find you know if I'm trying to save you know sometimes you know how there used to be Christmas club accounts yeah yeah <laughs> and and I and I found that a really good way because if you, you you just sort of tell the bank to take it out before it even hits your account yep and you don't really miss it do you, don't you? Know no, it's that's gone it. right and then if it's um if you if it's a fortnightly you know, like $100 a fortnight is 2600 for the year and you get that uh, in, de in December. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And even like if it's $50 a fortnight, then that, that helps, doesn't it? Actually, you know what my mother was, um, my mother did, she used to save, she went to see, uh, went to listen to Noel Whittaker talk. Yep. And Noel Whittaker said to save every $5 you get. Okay. So okay. that's what she did. She, yes. like one year she saved every $5 that that sort of came into her purse yeah and then she had like more than a thousand dollars for christmas and she used that money all her five dollar notes yeah for christmas yeah, so that's pretty much idea. cover most of it yeah and then um like her her and my father used that money to come down and visit like me yeah and you know like they're pulling out their five dollar notes to pay for petrol on the way down <laughs> yeah that's probably really good it's a good yeah. habit to instill for the kids there it that's is. something they can learn you know they could, might save their gold or their silver mm. or something yeah, yeah. and i yeah. thought well that's a really good idea and it's really simple isn't it yeah, as well? yeah. and you had a good a good idea jody yeah similar to your five dollar one um we went through one year where we decided to every single gold coin that came through that we touched or got in change we kept it in a jar and then yeah, at the end of the year the kids helped bag up all the bags we went down the bank and yeah we had enough and we bought some passes for Dreamworld. so yeah. yeah we did that for the next year then we made the most of that so it was fantastic and yeah, it yeah, a great idea. Yeah, it teaches the kids a good lesson as well. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And I think that's a really good point as well, isn't it? Just teaching the, yeah. teaching children about saving and having a goal. That's it. Because yeah. I think it's much easier to save if you've got a goal, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's it. My son, he likes getting 
looking up online pictures of the Lego he wants to save up for and then he puts it up on a page and makes the little chart of where he's saved up to. So, you know, it's that visual reminder, even though he doesn't have that thing yet or the money's in the bank, he's got something he can see, you know. Mm. Yeah. That's a great idea, like having it there and then um, identifying like the steps yeah. to the goal. And yeah. then I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, it works like the gold coins in the jar yeah. then. It's something visual. He's really clever, isn't he? He's, yeah, he's pretty good. That's great. <laughs> But I think uh, like saving and, and teaching children uh, the importance of saving, I think um, it's really good, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and so, sorry? Maybe? Like those savings thing also ties back into the super then, that's something that's good habits for them for later on. Yeah, and I think also like sometimes, you know, some, sometimes it, it's easy to do, um, you know, like when, you, when you've got a whole list of tasks to do and you know you've got um, sort of tasks that seem urgent and tasks that are important but they're not quite as urgent and I think something like um, managing your finances it, it's it's important but it is hard to find time to do it isn't it and I yeah. guess that's getting it back to running a small business it, it's one of those aspects of, of that business plan, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, yeah and and being across all of it, it's it's quite a it's quite complicated, isn't it? That's it. A little part of that's got to go into each cake. Yeah, you know, it'll come out of each cake. You yeah. know, so it's not just yeah. the ingredients. It's not just our time. It's yeah. running the oven. It's the food you know, license. Putting the our soup wedding away. Exposed. Yeah, that's, that's right. It. The food license and. Yeah, insurance. Yeah, the packaging insurance. for all of these cakes as well. Like that's yeah. right. The packaging cost us money too. Yeah. That's yeah. true because you've got lots of different, like amazing cake stands as well. Yep. That's all part of it, isn't it? That's it, yep. yep. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you both. And like, just anything more before we finish on that episode? Yeah, I think it just it's all ties back to that organisation, whether it's in organisation time or finances. Yeah. Yeah. And planning. Yeah, definitely planning. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've got to keep, um, keep things organized. in check. Oh, well, thank you both very much. Oh, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Until the next time. <laughs>